that's an amazing story. You were able to overcome that. You're in college, and one day, well, sure, we'll hear about you in the headlines because you're going to make something out of yourselves. Don't let someone else's view of you bring you down to where you don't rise above it. Imagine if I did that. So many people hate me. Imagine if I did that. Your situation's a lot worse than whatever I go through. But you're still here today. I'm still here today. You deserve to live. You always deserve to live from the moment you were conceived. And I'm glad you're here. I'm very strong and my beliefs and my convictions, I really love what I believe in and yeah. I know that I'm right. So this doesn't bother me. I mean because I believe um, that I'm right. I don't agree with that you said that you know you're right because it is your personal set of beliefs. So like mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that my personal set of beliefs are right just because I believe in it. So I think that that may be something that people do get a little annoyed with you with because That's you do okay. sometimes say that like, oh, my beliefs are like the right way. Like you would. Well, that's why they're my beliefs mm -hmm. because I do believe they are the right way and I will stand up for them at all costs. And I will never yeah. falter for my beliefs. I 100% know what I believe is right. It's based on data, it's based on science, and it's based on looking at a society and what I want in a family structure and what I want in a society that lifts people. People up, holds a family structure together. And what does like a family structure look like per se? Yeah, so I don't think that we should be pushing women into it. So this will sound bad until I say it. We should not yeah. be telling women that it's bad to be a mother. We shouldn't be telling women that you have to abort your baby to be successful in a career. Being a mother is the most amazing thing you can be. Yeah. You are bringing life into the world. No one else can do that yeah. except women. That's the most important thing we could ever do. Yeah. And then we have to have a strong male figure in our lives. We have to have stable relationships to bring up stable families and stable children. That's what we need. I just want to say I, I respect that. Um, but I was brought up by three very strong women with no strong man in the household yeah. so I don't believe that women have to be somewhere statistically else it is better for a strong male figure to be in the house but that's not I'm always doing the just case fine. I, I bet you are absolutely like I said that's not always the case yeah. but statistically it is better so I do support a strong family structure caitlinbennett.org you can go there to support my work keep me coming out here look at all these fans that need your support to keep me coming to <laughs> I have so many fans here that need your support at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett to keep me coming out here. They love when I come to campus. They have to see me. I can't keep coming out here if you don't donate to me. Look at all these people. You're going to be disappointed if you don't go to patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. How about you, Joe? So, actually, yes. But that doesn't mean that it's true across the board. Yeah. For example, um, if you look at the African American community and you compare it to the non-African American community. For example, if you look at the standard Caucasian man versus a standard African American man at the same age, and then you go up the ladder to look at them at different ages to see how they're progressing, right? So, statistically, African Americans, 75% of them grow up without a father in the home. Guess what percentage of them end up being incarcerated? The exact same percentage. So, if you see that when boys are raised without a father, they end up in prison, then you can determine that boys should be raised with a father. And so, for, especially for boys, correlation you need... Does not prove cor causation. Correlation does prove causation when you look at the it's same way that the African-American was, community was doing in the 70s, and then you look at how they're doing now. And, it, and in the 70s, we had segregate. you know, in the early 60s, we had se segregation. They were doing better under segregation family-wise and as a community than they are doing now. My hands are because they had no rights. And, the, and the, you said what? They had no rights. So, so... That would, that would actually further prove my point, because if they had no rights and they were still able to do successfully... What you're to say is that we should go back to segregation? No, I'm saying we should go back to having black fathers in the home. You can have black fathers in the home, but... I mean, or no, not exactly black fathers, but I agree that maybe more uh, uh, families on the African-American community need to have stronger male role models, but there's also certain things that have been a factor, like their environment around them, and I'm not saying that's an excuse for it all the time, but that's most why. People do end up in jail, their environment around them, because they're under discrimination under police. They get caught 10 times. I think, I don't remember the exact statistic, but they're much more likely to be caught with marijuana. Yeah, we're trying to help. I'm trying to hear what she's saying, I can't hear what she's saying. It's okay, it's okay. On like, if like a 12 year old girl is raped, and like, what yeah. would you say in like that situation if it harms her and the baby? So. Well, if she's raped and becomes pregnant, biologically, biologically, Whoa! she is able to have a baby. So it's uncommon in our culture to say that a 12-year-old can't have a baby. That happens all the time. And I am not advocating for that to yeah. happen at yeah. all, at all. 
But biologically, she is ready. What makes the 12 year old's life more important than the life of that unborn child? Both of their lives are important. We don't get to get rid of one just to appease the other. And it's so terrible of what happened. I am not advocating yeah. or justifying so, no, that at all. What do you that. think is going to happen to the child's life? after they're born. I think it'll be traumatized. Okay. I think so, it'll be traumatized, but we do not get to kill people based on traumatization. So, but it's not considered a person. Just because the law Just because the law doesn't consider it? Okay. So just because the law says something doesn't make it just. Okay. The law once said that we could segregate so, people based on skin color. Didn't make it right. Didn't make it true. Didn't make it so, just. But that still happens though. What? Uh, discrimination. I said segregation. Oh, you segregation. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, you know, that that was once law. And just because the law doesn't define somebody unborn as a person doesn't mean it's not true. So, but don't you think the laws should be more direct about what they want? In the United States. <laughs> what do you mean? So like you know how there's a lot of like leeway between like you can interpret different things, right? Yeah. Th so do you think Supreme that the law is. should be more specific? Like, the law should be that we should abolish abortion, 100 percent. Okay. Yeah, that's what the law should be that we so should abolish. So do you think that just because of that law, that all other laws should be very strict and very straightforward? So all the laws across the entire United States mm -hmm. says that you cannot murder someone. Mm -hmm. I think we should apply that to unborn persons as but well. But they cannot survive without us at certain points, right? Does that make them not a baby? No, but I'm saying that at a certain point, they can't survive on their own. So, so no. even if we get his ass out of here. So even if oh the baby God. were to be born, God, I do just want to point out, like everybody wants to hear a conversation right now, but that, that the, dr the drummer guy won't let. Yeah. No, I'm taking your stick. Shut up. I think he's surpassed you for being the most hated person on channel. I know. <laughs> So, medically, around 20, 21 weeks is the point of viability for, for an unborn child to survive with medical help. But even if that person, the woman, were to give birth to a baby, still needs someone to take care of it. It can't just not survive on its own. So, are you better off putting it in the adoption system then? Is that what you're saying? Adoption is better than okay. killing How the baby. How long do you think it takes for a infant to be adopted? I don't know. That doesn't mean we should kill it. That is not okay, even a conversation. I'm not to kill it, okay. but do you know, like... Your kid, that child's life has a high possibility of being ruined once you dump it in the adoption system. If I dump, I don't mean like, you know, get rid of yeah, your child. But like it's 100% so, 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 I mean, so, likely so, that it'll be ruined so, if you kill so, it. I think you should let them talk. Yeah, let me have this conversation. <laughs> I appreciate your input. We can, we can tag team. Yeah, let the woman talk. Uh, but that's exactly what I was going to say. So it has a high chance of being ruined mm -hmm. by some standards if we put it into adoption. It has a 100% chance of being ruined if we abort the baby. They don't even have a chance. If they're, but how is it getting ruined if it's it's never started? Exactly. It's ruined. It, it doesn't, the life doesn't even get to start. The life did start at conception. There is genetic material. The DNA. How many weeks? 21 weeks, right? That is when a baby can survive outside of the room with okay, medical so help. before that? Yes, it's still a baby. A baby is a baby at conception. They have their own DNA. There's not going to be yep. another person like it mm -hmm. on earth. They already have their hair color assigned. Their gender is assigned. They already know what their eye color is going to be. So it doesn't matter. Your size doesn't matter. Your size is not determined. Yeah. No. So I but personally think about it. I am the one that will have to hey, pay the medical bills, right? Uh, 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 I can't hear you. I'm the one that has to pay the medical bills. Mm -hmm and supply that baby with a place to stay if I want to actually keep it and not give it up for adoption, right? Like, but the government doesn't necessarily offer welfare enough to support those people. Because depending on where you fall on the poverty line, or if your parents are going to help you or not, then what does that do for you? So you don't have to rely on the government for all of your help. There are churches. Actually, churches make up more for charity than welfare does. They help more people than the government welfare does. and. I'm just going to be 100% blunt. Mm -hmm. It's not the government's job to step in and help you when you've made but choices. They, they, I'm, they're trying to so take I away let you my talk. choice. So I let you talk. Okay, I'm, I'm not trying go to ahead. be rude, ahead, but no, I would like to finish my okay, point. So you shouldn't rely on the government. Mm -hmm. The government shouldn't say, hey, please don't murder your baby. We'll give you extra money. It's not my job to take care of anybody else's mm -hmm. baby. So welfare relies on stealing from other people through taxation. It's not stealing. No. 
What is you what pay is your it? fair share of taxes, and I pay my. Fair I share. do not pay a fair share. The taxes I'm gonna pay hmm. could buy me a house. That's okay. how much I have to pay in taxes. That is not fair. Why isn't that fair? Because it's my money. Okay, I'm. It's, it's money my too. money. I shouldn't have I to give taxes. it to. I shouldn't have to give it to organizations that are government funded mm -hmm. that go against my beliefs. One hundred percent. I should not have to give my money. Just like you. you yeah, you can. Let me give you, you an example. I can believe what I want. Would yeah. you want your money going to build the wall? Honestly, what the intentions of the wall, though, like. Trump's wall, Trump's mm -hmm. border wall for yes, immigration. Yeah. yeah, would you want your money to go and fund to build that? I'm just trying to if give you an example. logically, like, there's some actual, like, plan right now of how it's actually going to support and help the United States and not do, like, how am I supposed to support this? It's not, not necessarily keep Mexicans out. It's more like, like... Official, if it's not officially efficiently stopping immigrants from coming in that are not supposed to be here, not saying that every immigrant that's here like should just be removed automatically, right? Because like not everybody's going to be a felon or commit right. a crime, mm -hmm. and like most honestly, people. most of them just want an opportunity to become an, to become a United States citizen. That's it. So I love that you're talking about immigration. I do want to get back to talking Actually, you about. That up. Well, I was, yeah. let me tell you why I brought it up, because I'm asking you for an example. When we get taxed and we are forced to give our money to the government, mm -hmm. they didn't distribute it to other programs. Programs that I don't want to fund. I don't want to fund Planned Parenthood. I don't want to fund people's education. I don't, you're being incredibly rude. We're having a conversation. We're having a conversation. If you want to talk, we'll get to you next. I don't want to fund Planned Parenthood. I don't want to fund Say Medicare less. for people. I don't want to fund education. I don't want to fund anything for anybody against my will. I give to the charities that I want to give so to. Why do you choose to be a United States citizen? I'm sorry? Why do you choose to be a United States citizen? Did I choose that? Were you born here? Did I choose okay, but to you be can, a United States citizen? At any point, you can choose to leave the country and renounce your citizenship. Yeah. So you are choosing to be a United States citizen. Yeah, I love living in America. So, just because I disagree on saying, the taxation you aspect. Chose that. You did choose that at this point. because it, I would disagree with you that okay. I chose to be a United States citizen. But at any point, you can renounce your citizenship, okay. correct? I don't want to. I'm not sure exactly mm. how it fits into the argument. Are you trying to say that if I don't? What? I have a very up. soft voice, and when I talk <laughs> loud, it cracks, and I sound like I'm going through puberty. <laughs> so, basically, what I'm saying is, through taxation, when the government takes money from us, against our will, if you don't pay taxes, you're going to go to jail. They're mm -hmm. going to come to your house with guns at gunpoint and make you support what they want you to fund. Mm -hmm. I give my personal money from my paycheck to charities I support. Mm -hmm. That's how things should be ran. If you really support free education, mm -hmm. you should give your money to a college student to give them a free education. You shouldn't demand money be taken from other people to fund something that you want. It is a this is so unethical. It's so unethical so, to take from someone else and give it to somebody else. Yeah. So let's say, so if you don't support abortions, would you be willing to at least support free condoms or free birth control to provide to people to prevent those abortions? Again, I don't believe in... So if someone is just buying these condoms and giving them out, great. Am I wanting the government to steal from me and give it to these people? No. Again, taxation is still wrong. But I would rather be stolen from for condoms and birth control than stolen from to fund areas that have abortions in them and abortions. Because abortions are funded by the state level, not the federal. So when they say abortions aren't government funded, they are at the state level. So um, you said you didn't exactly like Planned Parenthood, but are you aware that a lot of their services aren't just abortion? They're also free STD testing, yeah. things like birth control, et cetera, like that. Would yeah. it just be that specific funding you wanted to be cut off or would you want the entire would you want all your funding all of it because my money should not be stolen to give to anybody else if i don't want it to if planned parenthood so, didn't do abortions because that is the majority of what they do that is the majority of what they do if someone goes in for an abortion they're also getting an std test they're getting a pregnancy test they're getting future birth control mm -hmm. and the abortion. They go in there, the main reason they go in there is for an abortion, but they count it as only a fourth of the reason. So when they do their statistics, it's like, oh, we don't do a lot of abortions. They do, but they, they really boil it down to a fourth of it and they round that up in their statistics. But I still think taxation is wrong no matter what.
But isn't, um, I correct me if I'm wrong, but I think under the Statue of Liberty it says, give me your poor, give me your child. And I don't know, to me that's kind of like the foundation of what this country should be about, which is, yes, you may not exactly love it, but it should be about helping each other out, letting your neighbor a hand if you want to. Yeah, but not by force. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's it. Taxation is force. It's theft. It's unethical. It's not okay to take $20 from you and give it to you because you need lunch today. The thing, like, for me is, like, my mom was raped and she resented having me. And I'm sorry. And, like, sorry that, like, situation. impacted my life so much. And it's, like, I don't want other kids to also feel like that, the resentment from their parents. That and it's, like, trauma. Yes, it is emotionally traumatizing. I'm sorry you went through that experience. I will not sit here and tell you that you should have been killed instead. Absolutely not. You are strong enough to rise above that. Look at you. You're in college right now. You're in college. You're going to make something out of your life. You are strong enough as a woman. Women are very strong. We are so strong. We, I'm going to tell you right to your face, you are strong enough to not let that, trauma, that traumatizing situation weigh you down. Look at you. Look at you. Yes, that was emotional and that was upsetting. Look at where you're at now. That's an amazing story. You were able to overcome that. You're in college. And one day, we'll sure we'll hear about you in the headlines because you're going to make something out of yourselves. Don't let someone else's view of you bring you down to where you don't rise above it. Imagine if I did that. So many people hate me. Imagine if I did that. Your situation's a lot worse than whatever I go through. But you're still here today. I'm still here today. You deserve to live. You always deserve to live from the moment you were conceived. And I'm glad you're here. Thank you for saying that you're glad I'm here. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I think another thing with like the whole abortion argument and what people argue the most about is like scientifically when they think life starts. And I know that your opinion is that life starts at conception, mm -hmm. but um, the thing that I've always struggled with is like scientifically when a human can actually live on their own within the womb. I think it's difficult because like I'm Catholic, so like mm -hmm. I am pro-life for myself but I'm pro-choice for others because I I think it's such a fine line to try and decide whether or not like when life starts scientifically or when life starts for your beliefs. Okay so let me give you an example if you were driving down the road and a figure came out in front of the road and it looked like a person would you slam on your brakes so you didn't hit that person? Yes. So you would err on the side of safety why don't we do that with unborn children why don't we err on the side of safety and we say whoa Okay, we don't know if that's a person in there. I happen to think it is a person in there. It has its own DNA. Gender's already been assigned. Eye color. There will never be another human on earth that is like that unborn child that was just conceived. We should err on the side of safety regardless and say, we don't know 100%. Let's not commit a human rights atrocity right now mm -hmm. and let this happen. That's, that's what I think. I think that's mm -hmm. most logical. So then what would you say, like... If you saw like this perfect society that you could create, like what would you do for people who don't have the money to have a child, but um, like you don't think that they should have that child aborted because it is life? Like what would you try and put in place for them, for people who financially can't? And like the current adoption system is a mess. There are hundreds of thousands of children. Are not foster homes ideal too, for any and child. like what would you in like a perfect society? What would you want to happen? We already have it. We already have private organizations, and I don't know if you heard my spiel. I donate hundreds of my right. own dollars. Yeah, churches, you know what I mean? The churches, but those aren't helping everyone. Every that's, that's not because not everyone seeks out their help. They want to rely on the government. They they want to excuse their choices I mean, I to that, have an abortion and say I don't have enough help. If they if they went and sought out the help, it's there. I'm I'm here right here. All they mm -hmm. send me a message. Hey. I need help. I, I, I need financial help. I need help with X, Y, and Z. I will not hesitate to post anything on there. What? That's funny. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just the brooms. The what? Some guy just the brooms. They're holding up the brooms. Oh, the brooms. No, it wasn't. No, it Try me. Try me. So why would you let somebody that is so stupid that they would say something so ignorant dictate your behavior in any way, I'm shape, or form? I'm not letting them to take because me, but I'm telling you, that's what everyone thinks. It. I'm not talking if to you. If that's what everyone thinks, they don't want you to go up in this country. So they don't give you the opportunity so then, that you need. So then you bust your butt and you show them that that's you don't what care do. what they think and you become successful.
If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new videos. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett and receive super cool perks like an autographed photo from me in the mail each month. Or you can go to CaitlinBennett.org and get up to 75% off and free shipping on supplements and merchandise to support my work and start living a healthy life. My favorite product is TurboForce because it gives me all the energy I need to make it through a long day of doing interviews. And check out the website Bandot Video to see uncensored content from conservative creators that have been erased from social media.